Hi, thank you again for joining me. My name is Duane from Quick Biz Education. Today we want to continue looking at the four P's of marketing and we're looking at product today. So uh, in our previous videos, we looked at the BCG matrix. That's the aspect on the product. But for today, we're going to be looking at branding. I mean, this is pretty exciting. Now, what is a brand? Because I know probably it's not the first year hearing about brand and about branding. So simply put, a brand should be the sum total of all the experiences and value associated with a particular product. And then we can look also look at the brand in terms of the symbol that, you know, we know the swoosh for Nike, you know, and there are different other symbols that we can use that once you see this symbol, then you will know what the brand is all about. So we're going to look at the aspects of branding. So if you have a product or if there is a product, you want to create a brand. You, you want to create uh, an identity for that product. So I'm going to be looking at these four aspects of branding. One, it, 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 there is brand awareness. There should be development of the brand. There should be loyalty of the brand and also the value that is being created by the brand. Okay, so the first one is the recognition of a brand. So when we talk about brand awareness, you're talking about the recognition of the brand. So if, if I were to do this, then right now you are seeing this, you will know that this is a Nike. If I were to take this and do this, you can see Levy's hair. All right. But what if we were to look at this right now, you see the sign this is Goodyear. Now, most of you just know that Goodyear is a tire and rubber company, but yes, they have uh, diversified their portfolio and they're now into apparel. So, I mean, just looking at the sign, you can know the different brands. So we're gonna be using these as we go uh, more in depth into this. So we have, when we talk about brand recognition, we're talking about like, for example, I have here Apple. We know Apple to be for computers and smartphones. They're, they're identical with that. They can be identified by saying, you know, this is a company that has good product in terms of smartphones and, and, and laptops or computers. All right. Then there is also brand development. Now, the brand development aspect of Branding is where the marketing takes place to promote the brand, to put the brand out there that people can identify what this brand is all about. Because you have to go back and remember STP, the segment, the target, the positioning. Now, you can't be everything to all men. So your brand must be speaking to a specific uh, demographic of your target market, uh, of the market. It, 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 it can't just be out there and not communicating to the customers okay so you'll find some brands which are for elderly people some which would be for children some would be for young professionals some would be for students you know but the brand must be speaking to the segment of the market so in brand development that's about enlarging improving the brand doing different ads doing different promotions which we'll look at in another video then we also have what is called brand loyalty. All right. So this is where now the customers would want to buy this brand over and over because over the years, this would have proven to be a stable and a steady brand. So for example, again, Nike, people will not even you know think long to make a decision to buy a Nike because they know that it has a reputation over the years, even though a shoe like uh, Goodyear, in my uh, experience of wearing both, I recognize that the Nike is, is a brand where there is brand loyalty, but the Goodyear, it has a very comfortable feel. But the Goodyear is not really known so much 
in the apparel and the clothing business as in tires. So if you were to say to someone probably over 35, you know, um, Goodyear, they would be thinking more of a Goodyear tire, you know, because that is how they had developed their, their brand. And uh, there would be brand loyalty for Goodyear uh, in the sense that people would want to buy Goodyear over Maxis or any other other uh, tire brands. You know, so uh, the brand loyalty is where people, after a while, they can trust the brand. And then repeatedly, they will be buying the brand, okay? For brand value, it's the premium cost uh, that a customer is willing to pay over another competitor. So you might have a sneakers or a trainers, based on where you're from, you might call a sneakers or a trainer uh, or trainers. You might want to choose a brand over another one based on the quality, even though sometimes the, the, the quality might not be like the best, but you'd rather pay a higher price for a Nike because of the the brand uh, value that you perceive that you're getting over a good year, which in some markets from where I'm, uh, I am from, uh, you talk about good year, people will just be thinking about tires. So, but Nike is more of uh, an international global uh, brand that people would trust. So the brand value is what you will get from wearing that brand. And even if it's not comfortable, even if it's not the nice, the nicest thing you, you would want, you'll pay that higher money, uh, because of the quality. Okay. So when we talk about branding now, branding really is to create a brand loyalty that's the idea you want people to whenever they see the sign for this then we want to 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 take this brand because we believe it's a good brand and then it also differentiate the the product so when we look at the brand if you look at this you can know that levy is a different uh, shoes from from this and then from this so you can see where having a brand a symbol a sign something that represents the the ideals of the of the company that uh, people will choose accordingly and then you also have here where it helps with the recognition so think about if all of these were just uh, shoes having no uh, symbol on them, then you would not be able to identify a Nike over uh, a Goodyear, over a Levy, over an Adidas. You would not be able to do that. So when you have a brand, you can say, okay, this is Adidas. Uh, this is Yeezy by, by uh, Kanai, or this is uh, a Nike, or this is a Goodyear. And then you would be better able now to identify what you will go with according to the brand. So the brand is something that is actually, uh, it should actually speak to the segment that the company is targeting. And let's run over quickly here to packaging. Now, packaging is also important because packaging is a part of branding, is a part of the product, is a part of, of positioning your product in a particular market that people will know you and they will know the target market that you are trying to attract. Now, when we look at packaging, uh, packaging is the ways the products are presented to customers. So picture if you were just to buy a phone and you know you just receive the phone in hand without a box without anything you know then you know that might not be a very good representation of the company. But let's look at these. So here I have uh, a Motorola and I have a Samsung phone. And then in packaging, you look at the color, you look at the design, you look at the different colors, and then you would be better able to identify which is which. Now, when you look at these packaging, and let's take this for example, you're seeing all of these are packaging because these are there uh, to protect the product. It's also there to give some information about the product. and. The colors are also important in terms of the product. So when you talk about packaging and branding, if we were to take Motorola with a green package here, 
what this is saying is more green is talking about more environmental more youthful probably down to earth uh, friendly in terms of their, their their what they're trying to promote as against a white but this has white and it has some uh, pictures on it which is saying it's elegant it's pure but again you can see that this is more uh, for those in the middle area of of in terms of purchasing powers as against a apple product which is just you know not a lot of uh, things on this i mean ipad is here the symbol is here and it's just white talking about elegance talking about simple talking about uh man uh, purity in terms of white so again we can see that you know it depends on the customer if one is more a sophisticated uh, user of of uh, electronic devices they probably want to go with an iPhone or an iPad because it's white it's clear it's clean it's it is pure it's elegant as against uh, a Samsung which still has white but there are more things on it so you know not too fussy you know but still wanting something good as against a Motorola for those who probably you know thinking that it's, it's more of a youthful look it's more like you know for young uh, adults who you know relatively uh, not too expensive so they're targeting that so when we talk about packaging is very important because in packaging what it does it creates a perception uh, to the customers what are you saying to me through my package as I just explained there is also product differentiation when you have a packaging so once you see this you know that is Motorola um, once you see this you know that it's it's something to do with the Apple brand and then the, the packaging is also there to, to protect the the product okay so you want something that is is not too heavy it's portable you know and, and it can actually uh, protect what is on the inside for packaging also it also helps with labeling in terms of giving information about the product and you can see that here okay and then it also helps in terms of promoting the brand so remember when we talk about brand and the different colors is what we are saying about our brand what is Apple communicating to us what is Samsung communicating to us you know all phone users you know these uh, they're all targeting people who are in using electronic devices but there is a specific target market as we mentioned the STP okay and it's also for ease of distribution it's portable you can just take this drop uh, drop it in a bag and you can move along with it so branding is a very important idea in terms of how we do the product so you can have a very good product but how you actually brand the product how uh, your customers your 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 target market your niche market uh, actually view your brand is very important okay so thank you again for joining me I, I do hope that this will help in your revision okay ciao